Alright, here we are. Day 23. Yep. Survived the Day 21 horde easily. Had some cops. Gunned him down with the AK-47. No problemo. Lagged a lot due to the trees, we're thinking. Let's see. I think we were... Maybe we were trying to level up or something. I um, don't remember. So I think we were trying to decide in terms of level up points. I think I might skip the lucky looter thing for right now. I don't know how valuable one point in is going to be in... It's like, finding more stuff is nice, but we've already found a lot of level, like, 6 quality or 5 quality other stuff without it. I mean... I don't know. If basically, if it's more of a... If, it, if you're never even going to notice a difference, if it's a sm such a small bonus compared to RNG, which is what I fear the difference is going to be, then I don't know if that's worth getting. Um, I mean, in a vacuum, eventually, sure, but, I mean, what are other things I can get in the f before then, right? And I get the flurry of blows for more stamina on kills and faster clubbing. I can pick up light or heavy armor, right, to get better protection or be able to wear, like, leather armor and stuff. I could pick up more points in strength to finish off the, uh, the Pummel Pete and be able to get the ultimate boomstick thing eventually. Which, I'm, I'm very tempted to finish... Po uh, polish off strength. It's gonna take like what? So this requires. It'll require what? Eight more points to, to do that. And the flip side will go. We'll be doing over 10% more damage on headshots just from this alone. This isn't a big bonus, but I mean, it's something. Wait. Is that, is that, locate, oh, it says locate treasure map, Stefan's treasure map, locate treasure, a kilometer south? Okay, well that's a lot more reasonable now then, okay. Maybe we go dig that up. We can finish filling in all the concrete here, we'll level any second here. Probably this, nope. Well this then, yep. Outside. Let's see what we can do here. It's a dire wolf, I think they call it. So I am going. Well, we're down a lot of health right now, right? This might be the time to eat that gumbo stew. Alright, my plan has paid off. Let's go ahead and eat it. Where was that? Over here, okay. A point on the Huntsman, I think we were thinking of that. Let's do that. Let's do at least one point on the Huntsman. See if we get. I don't know if we'll get more. Mm, half already regret doing that, but oh well, it's not a big deal. Okay, we still got two rows of iron spikes there, which is fine. some lovely lag going on with those trees. Uh, let's chop down a few more of them. Oh, and we might be able to harvest some crops, too. Well, that's looking pretty. Blueberries are growing. That's to be expected. One cord and seed back. That's unfortunate. 
isn't it? I may stop bothering with chrysanthemum for a bit. I mean, we have, even if we drink 10 per day, if we drink red teas per day, 10 red teas per day, we'll eat the buff last 10, 4 minutes, right? If we 20 per day, we have enough for... Like, 30 days already or something like that? Like, I don't know if it's really a big deal. Okay, blueberries. We have some food right now, so we're definitely going to keep going here. I should have gotten the food and everything else from the base. Oh, and I think I put stuff in the forge to melt. That's probably melted too or close to it, right? I have a huge maximum stamina bonus. Yeah, that all melted down. Okay. So I think we go... I don't know. I guess we could put, like, we have enough to put two more... We could put two more points into the Huntsman. It gives us 60% more resources. If that includes things like fat, then that's going to be a limiter for the best food, so maybe that's worth doing. Can't really expand the farm yet, but we could put that meat back there. Blueberries, not enough for another one. Corn, there is enough for more corn seeds. I think we had three before. Now we'll have five, so it is improving just very slowly. We have nearly 700 chrysanthemums, so I'm just going to not bother plant. I, I can plant the seeds I get. I'm not going to bother making new things to plant, though. And we got coffee beans. Sure. Do we have more coffee in here someplace? We do. And we have the yucca fruit and the yucca seeds. I just don't know how if I really care about that. Just yeah, it seems really underwhelming. Okay, so we have this, and that, and that, and that. And we can plant down that as well. Advanced materials. We still have a lot of concrete stuff, that part's nice. We can now put more cement. Top this off. Oh, I topped off the. That's interesting. And somehow I did not top off the bottom one. I don't know how that happened. We are burning through stone, but we also. I don't know how much more we are really gonna need here. So that's working for 28 minutes. I'll take 41 minutes. Put some sand back there. Oh man, we're all out of sand over there. I guess obviously we never put any back. Okay, put the sand here. Let's go plant this stuff. I'm sure we're going to, uh, Recover it's almost certain we're gonna recover to full health after eating that gumbo stew. Which is good, fine. We have so much aloe vera we can make like all the uh first aid bandages we want if we ever start to be running low. Chrysanthemums, I don't know. Let's see, we're already starting to get a pretty decent. Around there. Yeah, that whole uh, go a, a thousand meters south to find the treasure map. That's uh, a lot more reasonable than it's nearby. 
Look, somewhere within, you know, a few kilometers beyond that, that's all the help, the help you'll be given. And the big goal of the, uh, avoiding the traitors and avoiding the looters one is to avoid getting easy access to infinite of the best chests and whatever. So getting a treasure map as a reward from a horde knight I don't think goes against that spirit. I mean, you find that and then you tell the, and if it leads to the traitor, I'll turn that in. But I don't know if it even will. I don't know if that's how these work or not. But... Again, since you have to find the treasure map in the first place via looting or off a zombie or whatever or anything, it doesn't go against the spirit of the whole. We don't want an infinite way to e easily respawn POIs to loot them again, or the ability just to come back a week later and loot the absolute best spots. Like, that's the kind of stuff we're trying to avoid. rifle back since we're not going to be using it. Our AK is with the perks is just better now. I don't know, maybe I do just go for some more Huntsman perks. Get that 60% more. If that means several more fat, then that means more blueberry pies and everything else, though. We did find corn, so is the blueberry pie necessary compared to cornbread? I think one of the major downsides of the cornbread, right, is that it, you just have to keep munching it constantly. And not having to eat constantly there would be nice, or it would save inventory room, I guess, too. I don't know if that's a, such a big deal anymore. Cornbread was the food of the gods and some of the earlier alphas. Thinning out these trees. And you see things like that corpse on the road there, or whatever's left of that. I'm hoping that with the huntsman you get more out of that. Dead rotten flesh and everything, stuff that we use for farming. I don't know if it's really worth it, but two more points in for a 60% boost at this point. It already feels crisper, I think, to destroying the streets and get stolen. If I hadn't been uh, recording, I don't know if I would have noticed the performance hit, but definitely noticed it here. Trusty, reliable stone axe. I don't know why this isn't 1200. I don't usually care. We could just pick up a random rock off the ground, or uh, hit you know, any stone of any kind. Get the ability to repair this. I think we have stone on our inventory already. Yes, we do. Okay, let's see if that helps the lag considerably. Looks like we gained another 4,500 lumber there. We've harvested and replanted the farm, so we can check again on that in a few days. We're good for a while on food with what we were able to just craft there. Again, once you can make infinite corn bed, it's probably not technically needed, I guess. Let's go, uh, let's go for something a bit different. Let's actually go try to track down the treasure map after we finish doing a little bit more upgrading. Okay, cobblestone is what we're going to be shortest on right now. If that happens to be needed. Okay, this is all the cobblestone we have. That should be fine. Uh, 
Alright, plenty of concrete. Everything should look like concrete, even if it's not. Why would it not be concrete, you ask? Because some of the stuff is behind the what we can no longer have light. We no longer have line of sight on. We'll go try to find this treasure map. Find the treasure, I should say. We already found the treasure map. What is our loot stage right now? Does it actually say 49? I have no idea if that's good or bad. We play a lot of Warhammer 2 and 3, and WoW Classic, some StarCraft 2 Little Overwatch, this. are definitely slowing down. Maybe that's why I'm kind of tempted to get the Huntsman stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's a waste. I mean, we already have enough farm plots to be able to sustain ourselves, right? Like, maybe... Probably getting the intellect or strength up first is probably the better deal. So for intellect, right, is this no bone? The intellect itself gives us no benefits. Electrician makes forge stuff cheaper, but that's still going to require a few levels. I don't know. Okay, so there's more concrete flame frames we can fill in down below. Right now we have a lot more out coming, so let's just go ahead and toss this all in here for now. We will worry about the rest later. I don't know how many seeds that stacks up to. We are starting to run short on stone. I'm hoping we might get more bones out of it too, because that can turn into glue and go through that right quick. Alright, so let's place the tools we don't need down here. Again, once we get more firearms or whatever, I'm sure we'll use more of that, but for now this is good. Actually, we should just drink a red tea just before going. And I lied, we will actually need our shovel here, won't we? How are we doing there? We're melting that in, melting that in. Our stone axe could use a touch of. I am not scrapping that. Got about 250 of our AK ammo. The AK and the club are, are probably our two main weapons for now. Until you invest heavily in agility or whatever. Here's some spare zombies. not seem to actually restore a full 30 stamina, it seems to restore less, but... It's just me. Did we get extra feathers from hitting the bird's nest? That's interesting. south edge of the town, but it's probably going to take us another week or two to loot the rest of the town. 
probably. Bunch of cars, cars on the road. exploring where zombies have gone before. Chasing down the chicken. I don't know how many bones we get off the default for a chicken. I guess uh, we got six that time, right? So if we put another point on Huntsman and we uh, still get six, and that means it does not increase that count, which goes against what I was hoping. Definitely get feathers from destroying the bird's nests. Since we're not worried about loot respawning. Might as well do that. Duffel bag, somebody dropped. Oh good, more chrysanthemum. Fortunately with all of our pockets, we don't have to be especially discriminating right now with what we are. And there's just so much chrysanthemum around anyway, we can just super easily obtain that. Bottle of acid? No bottle of acid. That's what it is. More mushroom spores, I guess, and coffee seeds. So we have we found a few, few chrysanthemum, right? I mean, I just, it's probably not even worth, probably not worth it. And we can just harvest, if we want some more right here, we can keep some seeds handy, right? And if we actually start to run low, we can worry about it, but with the living off the land, like, Probably just harvested enough chrysanthemum here for a week and like two minutes. Alright, I mean, it's like a hundred right there. And the fact that the, the living off the land increases our harvest makes that so much nicer. So at this point, it's like more like I have—we have the a absolute what we need, but what will help the most? And the answer for that might be the strength bonus. If you're caught in a bad situation, that one hit could be the difference. The flurry of blows for 10%. I think I shouldn't have put the point in the huntsman. I don't think it's the end of the world or anything. And maybe just for testing purposes, we'll put the next two points in there and see. If I get extra fat out of stuff. And it is just what you make things like meats do, I think, I guess, and the like. I don't have to bother looking through stuff at this point. It's just like, yeah, I'll take it all. Absolutely, if you're looting POIs things change, because then you actually can run out of inventory slots, not just encumbrance is a problem. So this should give us... We should be like already in excess of a thousand chrysanthemum, and if we have that much, I don't think we need to waste farm plot spots on it. We can keep some seeds, you know, just in case we ever need, are never in need of it. But 
I don't think it's even worth the time trying to farm it and make the seeds after. Look how much we just got there. We're at, that's another 397. Oh, wow. It actually, like, shows something on the ground. That's interesting. Did not used to do that, that's for sure. Might have been sheer coincidence, but I thought I had a friend in a friend's game. They were like trying to do something like this. Maybe it was an actual buried treasure thing. I seem to recall it being buried a few blocks down. It would like spawn zombies as they got closer. Might have been the, the quest. Then. No zombies, okay. So I guess they added this because people got very frustrated having to excavate everything to get it. Now for me, it's not as big of a deal. Doing this early game without better tools, I could see how this could be very under unappealing to people. You have to just dig for too long and you have no idea where it actually is. But I dig fast enough, it's not a big deal. down deeper? Usually I thought it was like three blocks down. Aha. Uh -huh. It's locked. There's a zombie nearby, but it didn't all just spawn in our head. in case that zombie hears me mining and comes for me. Like that, right there. Plus, it's what we call an object lesson right there. I guess this is where the lock picks can be helpful, but if we can blast through it in about a minute anyway or less. Eh. This is without the Iron Breaker mod. We got more clay for it, so you know. Happy days. Let's hope we get something good here. No swarm of enemies spawning, that's nice. Okay, we got steel sledgehammer parts, rifle parts, shotgun parts, bullets good gunpowder, shotgun shells a lot of it, 9mm of ammo and old cash. Okay. That's 
pretty good. If I could get like a guaranteed shotgun part every day, then you know, feel a lot better. Um, what don't we care about here? We don't need that stone at this point. I'll take the yucca seed, I just don't care. See if I can afford to loot something on the way back. Seems decent enough. Yeah, I was worried about the egg ratio before, but I think, honestly, we're very good for food now. I might have, uh, overplayed trying to avoid using food. The problem with the Huntsman is that, like, it can be difficult to find animals, difficult to track them to shoot them, unless you get the perception perks, perhaps. So making the ones you found count could be very helpful. Whoa, what the hell? He just like perfectly blended in to that tree there. That was a fun surprise. We get some XP for zombies, but like, feels like so much more from concrete. Bottle acid right there. This is why. This is why we check. That's two down and three more to go for the chemistry station at least. have to avoid that hit. It looks like we get more rotten flesh. I'm betting we got 10 before and now we get 12. Okay. I should have, yeah, shot more aggressively there to avoid the hit, but we did get hit and took it. Mm, it'll be okay. How much ammo did we use there? Some. I think we got. We must have gotten some uh, in the chest, maybe. I don't know. Gas grill. Got some bones. You are. 
Okay, so we need to be careful around those. Is that everything in here though? I guess so. Easy just to loot this and then toss up what we don't want at the end. So that was a quote-unquote real fan, uh, feral there. Already have a bandolier, so that doesn't help as much, but hey, you know, something, I guess. Weapons bag. Silencer mod. Machete parts. Huh. I think you'd need agility to do that, use that effectively, though, right? Scrap that, toss that. Scrap that. Can of cat food is only used for food. Okay, sure, we'll eat it. Scrap it. Not really encumbered too. Okay. Let's drop the stuff back off. Two bottles of acid for the chemistry station. Alright, that's a nice improvement. I think I looted that place, but I'm not sure any longer because I don't see the two boxes in front of it. How are you supposed to keep track of this without the boxes in front of it? Gosh. Guess you could order in a ver loot in a very methodical way. To be fair, so given that there's these stashes and stuff in these, that is a lot more reasonable to do than it used to be. Okay. I'm gonna call this, this we'll sort this out at night stage. I think finish stuff to the west, right? Except for the zombie bear. If I go down that route, it's with a whole bunch of spike traps and way more AK-47 ammo than I think I'll need. I'm just unloading in that sucker. That's empty. marked this, so I think we're done there. Let's check the next spot here. So they want us to cross over. Drop down. You're not going to do that. Okay. So we got that there, that's fine.
in our belt. Good enough for you all to eat? Is that why you're not coming out? Like, this is just kind of insulting, honestly. you bash everything. Everything. Two bookcases, oh that's nice. What's that a schematic for? Oh, hunting rifle. If we're gonna make a hunting rifle, we're gonna learn it from the perception thing, right? Because that's dead eye, that unlocks hunting rifle. Right? Yeah, that's, that's just paper. Because you have to hit the middle first. I got that second swing off. I have been convinced to take the flurry of blows, Plark, because that cop almost exploded in my face. Probably have another few seconds, but it's closer than I would have liked. Shotgun, duckbill mod, and eh, we've got a reflex sight mod. I think that's something we might want here. 38 damage versus 38 damage. But I think that's does this. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Okay, we're not we're now using reflex sights. Finding two cops in place. Says, hey, corn seed, and in the toilet again. We're two for two and finding corn and toilets. And I guess we drop down here. Getting that stealth perk wouldn't really improve it very much, is the thing. It'd go from 300, 350%, it went for, I guess it would go from doing, let's say, 350 damage to 400 damage, which is, as we said, pretty minor improvement. Cop's dead, but if you fell down here, you'd be trapped with him in close quarters. Alright, now we can take a look a little bit up see what that looks like. There are going to be some bird 
Bones here or something. So we got 30 feathers before, right? So this should give us 36 now. There you go. Okay, Huntsman. Worth. Alright, we're doing okay still. Chicken ration for no other use, so let's just eat it. Quality one baseball bat. Scraps to wood. Wow. The stuff scraps faster than it seems like it's supposed to at times. I don't know why. don't have a, a zombie in here. There's no way. Drink that. Drink that. Football helmet may take that. It does give... More, it, it, yeah, it's okay. It's definitely an improvement, but if we find fittings for that or something, then maybe it's usable. Moldy backpack. Not another barrel extender mod. Herbal antibiotics. Okay. Paper. Minimum, we'll need to find another wheel. Oh, hi, birdie. Probably could have saved that shot and done it with a, uh... I should have just smacked the club. We've also learned that it is definitely not a sniper weapon, but then again, we weren't expecting the AK to be a sniper weapon. That would have been hilarious if that actually hit, though. Let's be real. Hello, 
friend. This is my house. shotgun ammo. Anything else that's completed ammo that goes in here. 9mm ammo, which will presumably melt down. Clothing. We have iron leg armor, 10.4 and minus 6. So, the scrap armor... Iron leg armor is just better than the scrap armor, okay. Football helmet can go up here. These all have... It's like a lot of these have the helmet light mod to them, so we'll, we'll want to make sure we re remove those. Is there anything else in clothing up here? Let's go to mods. Silencer mod, extended, barrel extender, barrel extender. Like, the, grabbing both of those and the, with the reflex side of the AK would be nice. Shotgun bill again. Or duck bill. What does... Okay, it's just a quality... Okay, it's just a quality 4 battery. I mean, that's good. That's good. Advanced materials. Polymer, glue... Bones. Scrap that. Weapons. Do we have any machete parts so far? No, that's a new one. Ammunition materials. We're going to put the lead, all of this stuff here. Food gets can of pears I don't think is good for anything, alright, so... I guess we can hold on to it in case of emergency. I don't know. Got a corn seed. Got mushrooms there. Maybe we found some other... seeds, right? There's a yucca seed. Whatever. Honestly, I'm just going to throw these up in medicine for the yucca seed, because they're not needed for normal stuff. They'd only be used for special things there. Yucca fruit. I guess you can eat yucca fruit, can't you? Ammunition materials. Looks like we got more steel sledgehammer parts, but... Help us. Building up a small collection down there, though. Got lots of eggs. That's good here. Coffee seed. And corn seed. We need to plant the mushrooms. We're overflowing on chrysanthemum. We have lots of rotten flesh now. So we need more nitrate to expand the farm. So that's... Mining that's kind of on our next to-do list here. State advantages, weapons can get the Molotovs. <laughs> Two bottles of acid. We have twice as much as we did before. Hot diggity dog. And that's aloe vera, that's aloe cream, so we might as well put that in medicine. Start this. Start that. We are running out of stone. And cobblestone. Speaking of cobblestone, while I'm sorting through all of this, let's try to make another 2,000 if we can. We don't have enough of that because we're out of clay. That's fine. We don't need that clay anyway. And then we have some water here, which we can use for whatever. And we're getting all these drinks. I don't know if we're, what we're even going to really use them for, honestly. 
on herbal antibiotics, cure infection 10%. Okay, so then we do want the hammer. Gonna plant the mushrooms down here. That mushroom growing. Remember we have the coffee seed and the corn seed. I guess. If that's not enough to upgrade the inside of the fort here, I'll be highly surprised. So let's grab the iron bars. Let's just do that. Okay. I don't know, picking a random spot. Suddenly, a bear jumps out somehow and eats us. Hope not. There's a zombie out there. Might have just heard it. This man does give us more feathers, more rotten flesh, probably more bones. Okay. It doesn't cost stamina, but it doesn't let you regenerate stamina. I need to be careful not to upgrade uh, the bars to... Well, I guess we could do it. If we ever need to come in here again, it'll be because people have broken through, right? Build up our fortress. And this is our, if things go horribly wrong, Honestly, I'm half tempted to almost put, like, a, a tunnel entrance that, you know, I can jump down. If, if, they, if I'm getting overrun, I jump into that, and then I can follow that over in this direction. And if any zombies follow me down that, then that's, you know, lining up perfect shots because it's just a narrow tunnel. It doesn't come into the base, but it'll emerge near the ramp. That's an interesting idea. Because if you try to outrun them just on the surface, the dogs or whatever may chase you down. So there's some of these interior cobblestone walls did in fact get damaged a tiny bit from something. What? I don't know. I 
I should be doing the whole men in black spiel. The stars, have you ever just looked at them? Before, potentially even multiple levels per day. That has slowed dramatically. It's our loot stage at 49 still, yeah, and that hasn't gone up. Again, I, I realize that if they're like, if you go here, you find the absolute best stuff, it might be, would be perhaps problematic. I don't know. We're committing to the Huntsman. Let's go full Huntsman. We can get three points in it right now. Then we'll worry about probably going up to Intellect 6. In case we get enough steel for the motorcycle. project here that I don't know if we're going to even finish this by the end of the night, eh? I've officially switched to using my middle mouse button, my middle on my finger, to hold down the right mouse button because this is holding it down for a very long time here. It's starting to get kind of annoying. Top row, because we can do that once we're up there. Some of these cobblestone blocks were damaged a bit. I guess we just never noticed them. Concrete used to be worth 12,000 hit points. That, those were the days. Oh man, this one was actually pretty badly damaged. Never realized it. I'm thinking to get up to Intellect 6. It gives us more options. I don't know, like, what electricity really would do for us right now. I mean, I'm totally fine worrying about that eventually. But I may not worry about that yet. It's kind of a, the spikes and gunfire are able to hold off these hordes right now. There's more needed. We might start trying to funnel zombies before we uh, worry about more than that.
Maybe we will. will give us another half level or so. If slash when we start looking like we're getting a lot of like shotgun parts, I we'll definitely want to start being ready to put points there. Nighttime hard. I just one nighttime zombie. something actually slightly differently than that, won't we? Okay, we don't, yeah, we don't want to leave that down there. Take that off of the bar so we don't accidentally click something. Let's do a spike review. That iron spike's a little damaged, but still like we're doing pretty well overall. Iron spike's there, damaged a bit more. Look like we're in good shape so far. How much XP does this give, I guess, is a new question. Still gives the full amount. So we can keep upgrading this and upgrade all the frames and all the bars. That'd be good. Finished by 4 a.m. It's coming down to the buzzer. And this is mainly more if like cop spit lands on the roof than anything else. Well, we won't finish the uh, the iron bars. We'll still need to go do that. But we should finish hopefully. that at least. So we've just got this to do tomorrow, so might as well stop the video here.